This is pretty <laughs> <laughs>
welcome you this afternoon uh, for this great celebration. The lives of Connor and Alyssa from this time forward, they will not be separate, but they will be together, Connor and Alyssa, even more than you have been. And that's great. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are from the world, therefore they speak from the world, and the world listens to them. Have you not read that he who created them from the beginning made them male and female, and said, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. Connor and Alyssa, you have done well. We've gone through some really trying times in this last year, yet you have kept your focus where it should be. And you've stayed committed to be standing here today to promise your lives to one another. Connor and Alyssa, may God bless you together to grow together, to struggle together, to laugh, and to cry and to celebrate together forever. If it is your intention to share with each other your joys and your sorrows and all that the years will bring, with your promises bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. Do you, Connor, take Alyssa for your lawful wife? Do you, Alyssa, take Connor for your lawful husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish always, until death do you part. I do. I do. We give you thanks, O Father of grace, for the love and faithfulness that you give to your people. May these rings be symbols of the promises Connor and Alyssa have made with each other promises of faithfulness and fidelity and love that like the circle of these rings which have no beginning or ending, may their love be without beginning and without end. Bless their years as they wear them, that they may grow old together through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. I accept this ring. I accept a string. As a sign of your love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. Sign of your love and faithfulness. Your love and faithfulness. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. I accept this ring. I accept this ring. As a sign of your love and faithfulness. As a sign of your love and faithfulness. <laughs> Connor and Alyssa, by their promises before God and in the presence of this congregation, have bound themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. It gives me great pleasure to be the first person to be able to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Enley. Alyssa and Connor met. I want to welcome him to the family. Connor, you're an amazing young man, smart and driven, and I know you will be a great husband. Alyssa, I'm so proud of you, what you've already accomplished in life, 
woman you have become. I know I'm biased, but I don't think I've ever seen a more beautiful bride than Alyssa, except for her mother. One of my favorite qualities about Alyssa is just how supportive she is. Just seeing the two of you together, how you show so much support for one another, um, constantly trying to push each other to be your best versions of yourself, and seeing how you've grown together and how your faith has grown together um, has just been incredible. Connor has made so many close friends everywhere he's been. He's got the person there that lights up a room and he's the guy who's always there for you when you need him. He fully deserves all the goodness and love that's coming to him. I think you guys are perfect for each other and I can't wait to see what the future holds for the both of you. Connor, I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you.